If there were no rules in your life for one day and you could be outrageous, what would you do? That question was asked from the Miss Universe Pity pageant of 1997. Walk around naked in Metro Manila. <laughs> Oh, Wala nga biro, ma'am, talaga. <laughs> <laughs> Tapos, I look, walk around naked, display myself in general public, and say, are you happy now? <laughs> Para siyang terror teacher, na imbes na iwasan ang mga estudyante, kinasasabikan, lalo pat in na in, ang kanyang pick-up lines. Si Senadora Miriam Defensor Santiago, pinangingilagan sa Senado, pero dapat pakinggan. Magdebate tayo sa UP kung gusto mo. Ayaw niya. Ngayon, hinahamon ko na naman siya. Suntukan tayo kung gusto mo. Kung may isang bagay na pwedeng sabihin sa kanya at sasang-ayo ng lahat, pati na malamang ang kanyang mga kaaway, yan ay walang boring na sandali sa kanyang pili. Kung pangit ka at mahilig kang mag-selfie, Sabihin mo na lang na lahat ng pictures mo ay wacky. Sa TV man o sa kanyang speaking engagements. I'm always bothered by the suspicion that I'm surrounded by idiots. Oh! Inaabangan ang kanyang mga pasabog. How did the criminals manage to steal some 10 billion pesos of the people's money in just 10 years? Who is the mastermind? Pati na ang kanyang pick-up lines. Politiko ka ba? Ang ganda kasi ng mga mata mo. Kurap ng kurap. Ang tinatawag nilang Iron Lady of Asia, si Senator Miriam Defensor Santiago. Hindi madaling makakuha ng interview sa senadora, lalo na puno lagi ang kanyang schedule o hindi kaya may problema sa kanyang kalusugan. Pero makalipas ang ilang linggong pakikipag-ugnayan sa kanyang opisina, nito lang Martes, pinaunlakan niya ako ng isang one-on-one -on -one interview. Senator, I've actually heard some young people say, you look to them like a terror teacher. <laughs> Pero ironically, isa rin ho kayo sa mga pinakasinusundan or pinafollow ng ating mga youth. Maybe because I'm the eldest in a family of seven, so I had to, I had to make my own pathways to each of the kids who followed after me, belonging to different age generation. Pero ma'am, in na in kayo ha? Alam niyo po yung in na in? Uh, yes. Come on, let it go, according to the song. Let it go, let it go. Pati yung mga let it go, alam na alam. I resort to this mischievous way of thinking. Uh, maybe just to relax the neurons in my brain. Especially when I'm faced with someone who doesn't have any neurons whatsoever. So I have to be, I have to be adroit. I just love these young people because I know that very soon I'll be pushing daisies, meaning to say I'll die very soon. And I don't, I don't place any value in my life at all. I'm not one of those people who value life. I mean, why should you value it anyway? If I know that this would be what my life is at present, so full of dark problems, I would have committed suicide at birth. Mom <laughs> naman! Sayang naman! Sayang naman yung inyong potential to be who you are now. I have no illusions about myself, about my life, about leaving a legacy or making a mark in people's lives. We are so insignificant. We're here only for the blink, for the eye blink. Lalim nun, Mama. <laughs> Considering who you've become, you're this larger-than-life senator to many of us. It's so strange to hear you talk this way na you're oh, yeah. not that significant. We don't really exist. We're all dreams in the mind of God. So, uh, yun ang problema sa ating politika. Masyadong malaki ang ego nila. At walang katapusan ang pagaganid nila. Ano nila yung perang yun? Like, having 38 concubines, I was thinking, what if I had 38 lovers? That would, ex 
That will exhaust me. It will exhaust my resources. Mamang galing ng pick-up lines nyo, ha? <laughs> Pwede po bang malaman sino nakaisip nun? And who puts them together? Kayo po ba yun? I have a staff for that kind of business. But uh, sometimes we make up our own. <laughs> Mahilig man mag-joke ang senadora sa kanyang mga speech. Madalas palang malalim ang kanyang iniisip. Kahit na habang siya ay nagre-relax. I believe in the supernatural. I don't believe that this is all that life is. There must be something outside of ourselves. I think at my age it dictates that I must do something outside of myself. Hindi ko naman ang paganda ng sarili ko. I'm born with this face. Hindi ko naman naman patalino pa ang sarili ko. I'm born with my genes, my hormones, my neurons, my synapses. Kung hindi pwede ko matulungan ang kapwa ko na is in a poorer situation than I am. Not always talking financially. And also remember, we have a very limited time frame. The universe, the planet Earth, is meant to have a lifetime of 9 billion years. Grabe, ma'am, iniisip nyo lahat ito. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you think of all these things, pati yeah? yung mga laman ng utak natin, na may uh, neurons, synapses, and how old <laughs> this Earth is going to last. Those are the only things <laughs> we're thinking about. Rather than thinking about what we have for breakfast, lunch, dinner, Um, Hindi ko kayo gano'n, yung kinukunan yung mga picture, yung mga kinakain nyo. <laughs> uh, like, let's just say eating is not one of my priorities. <laughs> Paano mang hold up ang mga sosyal? Sinasabi, hold up here. Make the guy, all your thing is. Don't make galaw or I will make tusok-tusok you. Kababawan, ma'am. Meron pa kayong kababawan din. <laughs> I'm sorry. The most things that are shallow and mababaw, you know, simple joys. Well, you stop and smell the flowers. Yes, yeah, this is not to be. Ganyan. This is not to be uh, downgraded. These yes. are part of the complex fabric of happiness for humans. In my case, I'm not exactly the type who will wear a long dress, turn around in my garden and sing, the hills are alive with the sound of music. Nagluluto po ba kayo? Oh yeah, I'm a great, great cook. Um, yeah, because um, my father was a cook and uh, he taught me how to do that, plus my grandma. Ano po specialty niya, ma'am? Uh, just native Ilonggo dishes and then wow. eventually the Tagalog dishes that my husband loves. I'm not a gourmet cook. I'm not even a gourmand cook. I'm just a... Um, Survival. <laughs> yeah, just a survival. <laughs> Wala ka na ba ibang argumento maisip sa utak mo? Kung hindi maging personal laban sa akin? Iron Senator Man ang bansag sa kanya. Minsan ko na rin nasaksihan ang paglambot ng kanyang puso. I want to talk about my child. <laughs> May I ask you about your son na namatay? Yeah. Nakarecover na po ba kayo sa kanya? Oh, a mother will never recover over the death of a child because it's, in the first place, it's unnatural. Parents are supposed to die ahead of their children. How were you as a mother, Paul? Kayo po, sabi niyo, sarap kayo magluto and then hinahalikan niyo sila. Yeah. You were that kind I'm of a mother. I'm feely Ah, talaga ho. Hindi ho kayo yung cool mother. Na? Yeah. Strict ako kayo. No, my husband is a strict one and I'm the liberal one. Hindi ho kayo na malo, ma'am. Oh, I do. <laughs> I, I spank my kids because uh, according to the books I was reading at that time, sometimes you have to administer corporal punishment if the child is just being simply wrong-headed. Mm -hmm. uh, but of course, you are not supposed to cross the line and commit child abuse. I was usually the one who would negotiate with my husband to give more liberal terms to my children. Ah, talaga ho? Yes. Kayo yung consentidor. Right. <laughs> He used that term very open with me. And I always told him, there's no point in life except being happy. And you cannot be happy unless you're in full realization of your potential. So let them be. Bata pa lang, achiever na. Hanggang nag-aral sa UP ng political science, at abugas siya, naging student leader at ang kauna-unahang babaeng editor-in-chief ng Philippine Collegian. Kilala siya sa campus noon bilang beauty and brains combined. 
I'm very proud that I was a nerd. Life is the revenge of the nerds, you know, because we had high grades and we have, therefore, the qualifications for high positions, then we begin to get these high positions and are commensurately paid for it, and so I become richer than most people. That is why they say life is the revenge of the nerds. Were you a happy kid, ma'am? I don't think I can, you can call me happy. I was sort of a tormented child because I could not understand why I was alive. I did not understand the meaning of life, in other words. Mm -hmm. I always tried to pursue. Why am I here? Where did I come from? What am I supposed to be doing here? But in college, you were known as beauty and brains. When you read write-ups about you in college, you always say, broke a lot of glass ceilings, first right. woman, yeah. editor-in-chief ng Philippine Collegian. You went into law, you excelled, you beat many of your boy classmates. I just wanted to show that the masculine brain is inferior by nature and by instinct. <laughs> Kasi, uh, look at the Genesis story. God made women out of human materials, whereas men are made out of non-human and therefore inferior materials that shows that women are superior to men. <laughs> ba kayo ma'am? Kayo ba yung madalas mag-ayos ng ano, sarili? I've always hated that. I feel like I'm being tortured I have to go to the parlor. <laughs> because you know, she grabs my hair and then she pulls my face like this. I have to undergo the process. Another civilized form of torture of apply, having makeup applied to my face. I don't think it improves me a lot. Ma'am naman. But there are, <laughs> there are dissenting voices so I, I prefer to give them the benefit of the doubt. Isinabak namin si Senator Miriam Defensor Santiago sa Q&A, katulad ng sa mga beauty pageant. You have to pick the questions from this magic bowl. The question is, what is the one big mistake in your life and what did you do to make it right? Big mistake in my life? Yes. Getting born. <laughs> Hindi ako handa doon. Hindi nga, ma'am, but that was not your mistake, di ba? One big mistake in my life, mm -hmm. entering politics. Ang nakukuha nilang grado ay 2% o 4%. Yan ang mga g**** talagang walang. Magigibasa ng personality ko at naging buhay ko kung hindi ako pumasok ng politika. Tumakbo akong presidente 1992. Dahil lang sa bilin ng tatay kong mamamatay na. Kaya wala akong choice. But that was really a big mistake. I gave up a comfortable salary and a comfortable life and a very educate, educational lifestyle. Tapos pumasok ako dito sa ang gulo-gulo na politika. Pagkatapos ayaw kong makibagay sa iba, di ang gulo-gulo ko rin. <laughs> Pare-pareho kami naguguluhan. If there were no rules in your life for one day and you could be outrageous, what would you do? That question was asked from the Miss Universe Beauty Pageant of 1997. Walk around naked in Metro Manila. Wala lang biro, ma'am, talaga. Tapos I look, walk around naked, display myself in general public and say, are you happy now? <laughs> Last question for the senator. What part of your body would you like to change? My brain. Ah, talaga ho? Mm -hmm. Kasi it keeps running off in different directions. I'd rather be just um, focused on one thing, like maybe become a physics expert, become a rocket scientist, but my brain doesn't work like that. So what do you do, ma'am, to relax your brain neurons? <laughs> I don't know how to relax dahil hindi naman ako tinuruan noon eh. Kaya noon kasi very very structured ang aming buhay. Kailangan nagtrabaho kami sa loob ng bahay. Kailangan nagagumagawa kami ng homework at kailangan mataas grado namin. When you get mad in the middle of the Senate hearings, pag sa tingin po namin mga nan nanonood, eh, galit, na galit na kayo. How much of that is real? That's 100% real. So I'm trying to make a point. And I'm convinced that I'm already right. I'll fight to the death. Kailangan na matay isa sa amin. Ako patay niya o kaya patayin ko siya. Basta hindi pwede buhay kami pareho. <laughs> May pag-asa po ba tayo? Oh yeah, absolutely. We'll get there. Uh, sooner or later, but we'll get there. I am absolutely confident. I am assured that the sun rises in the east. I am assured that corruption will one day stop. But corruption is as old as planet Earth. It's 4.5 billion years old. So <laughs> that will take some time.
one. Let it go. According to the song. Let it go. Let it go. Love her or hate her? Consider yourself admonished. Wala ka na ba ibang argumento maisip sa utak mo? Walang dudang ang buhay politika ng ating bansa will never be the same kung walang Senator Miriam Defensor Santiago. Yung mga tao kung hindi nakakaintindi sa inyo, how should they better understand Miriam Defensor Santiago? Well, if you don't understand me at the outset, you'll never understand me. And I have no, I have no particular inclination to educate the non-educable. <laughs> I mean, you just have to take me as I am. I am. I can pretend. I just choose to be what I am. Uh, take it or leave it. <laughs>